I'm Janelle Carter, the herd manager here at the Palmer Muskox Farm, and I have our number one intern, Mr. Michael Guido, here, who is going to discuss his time as an internship in the summer of 2012. Michael arrived back in April, so he's had the whole summer to spend his time cuddling with calves and taking care of the farm. Um, first of all, Michael, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background? Well, I went to school at the University of Chicago, um, and I had a year afterwards where I was working in a human genetics lab. And I uh, basically wanted to find a job that had something to do with animal care, husbandry, and uh, some sort of research aspect. So I um, found the muskox farm. Alright, so after spending four months out here, um, what did you initially come into the internship? What were your expectations? Um, well, I knew that it was a farm job and I knew that that requires a lot of work, so I expected, you know, to do a lot of, you know, things that require a lot of energy. When I talked to you, you said it was very hands-on and it's very hands-on in the fact that we get to spend a lot of time with the animals. Um, running them through the barn to weigh them and um, especially during weaning when we get to do the calf. So I definitely knew that coming in. I definitely um, was able to acclimate myself to the amount of work we did even though I hadn't any experience on a farm. So here's Sage. She's, um, she's the unique one of the group in that we could get up and pet her, she probably wouldn't mind too much. Sage is not very scared of humans, so she likes to hang out. But she also, she's, she's just like, she's on her own, beats, walks to the beat of her own drum, you know? Questions I get from a lot of people that are interested in doing the internship is what happens on a day-to-day -day basis here. And Michael is here in April when we first started having CAP, so why don't you cover a little bit of the timeline of going from April through August of what a day-to-day -day is like. So when I first got here in April, um, I had just a couple days before the mothers started having their calves. And so, yeah, so we did hourly calf checks. We wanted to give vaccinations to the calves as soon as they were born, pretty much within four hours. So um, once they had the calves, we would quickly try and get in, give them their vaccinations and give them back to their moms. Um, so that was a good month of that. Um, from April to late May and all during that process we're starting to get the other um, oxen on the farm to get in the stalls to be combed. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually wearing a Kivute hat. Um, <laughs> it's made from the wool or under fur of the um, musk ox and that's what we harvest here and is a big part of the domestication process is that we're um, breeding oxen that will be domesticated enough that we can handle them easily. 